can I wait? Let's can we do this before we go any further? Do you feel like maybe you feel like that way because you're jealous of New York people? Mm. Especially from Chicago, which is like, you know, a B New York. Well, you well, first of all, <laughs> I didn't say that. Uh, I'll kill your whole family. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be clear. <laughs> <laughs> but second of all, what I'll say is belly on it. <laughs> and become invincible. Yes, I will. Yes, the fuck I will. <laughs> oh my god. There was Brenda, Letitia, Linda, Felicia, Dawn, LaShawn, Inez, and the and Alicia. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Gentiles and little mamas alike, to another phenomenal episode of My Mama Told Me. The podcast where we dive deep into the pockets of Black conspiracy theories. And we finally work to prove that all that fat that got sucked out of Al Roker got turned into that little boy from Corey in the house. Ha! That's right. They took that fat that they pulled out of that man and they molded it into a perfect performer. <laughs> a phenomenal child actor. <laughs> they took that fat out and they electrocuted it until it became <laughs> became the, the third lead on a Raven Simone project. Prove me wrong. I'm Langston Kerman. Yeah. I'm David Borey, <laughs> and boy, that's a great that's my favorite one you've ever written. Whoa, thank you. That was big. <laughs> Shout out to Kyle Massey. I hope you're doing well. He's I think he's got it together better than the the other maybe the other children. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> I was about to say, I think he had a rough run for a while, and, and maybe he's he's on the other side of it. But I do remember him having a, a mug shot or two that, that went viral. Which, to be fair, who wouldn't if you were a child star? I would I, be ruined. Dude, I think it's the reason why Zendaya is the, like, the GOAT. You know what I mean? It's like, how the fuck did you stay regular despite all of that? It's nuts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, her parents didn't really look like they were taking any shit though. So yeah, no, that's yeah, probably I think, it. yeah. I think that's fair. I think yeah. her parents. Uh... <laughs> At least I've seen her mama multiple times, and she didn't look like she was going for none of that. So right, no, yeah, right. No, not because you need to see even in that Nickelodeon documentary, the one kid, his mom was like, "I was there. Yeah, I told him this was bullshit." And you're yeah. like, "Oh, thank God for you. God bless." <laughs> <laughs> Such a wild topic to start because. <laughs> Had it happened to me, my dad would have been gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just no man to step up and, and say, hey, don't make, damn, he, don't make, don't point um, mayonnaise on my boy's face. Yeah, don't he was that. dropping head for helpful tidbits, and I was just a regular kid. You think it would have? <laughs> oh what I'm God. saying is, I would have kissed somebody looking for love in a circle. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. You know, I'm just trying to be accepted. I get it. Anyways, I'm David Borey. <laughs> our guest. <laughs> You've already heard our guest today, and we're we're very excited that they're here. They they have a really <laughs> phenomenal podcast called And Then We Ellipses, and and I ain't gonna say what the ellipses stand for. <laughs> nah, because gonna fuck with the algorithm. Yeah, you don't yeah, want to fuck yeah. with the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a it's a phenomenal podcast. They're both hilarious. Uh, you you know them from their podcast, and and they're on tour right now. So go yeah. see them live in in a city near you. Give it up for Kristen Sibbles and J. Rod. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I, was, I was going. Okay. Just a, a taste. Person. Just a taste. <laughs> I'd also like to say your clip about her seeing you on soft affected my relationship. So I want you to know. I, in, in a good way? We got we got through some stuff. We had some talks we had to talk have. <laughs> I will say <laughs> <laughs> brought up those things that yeah. you know I didn't want to talk about yeah. before. She was like, yeah. Why are you going to the bathroom so fast sometimes? <laughs> I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's talk about it. Yeah, all right, <laughs> fine. 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 
I will say this. I, I, there has been very few like relationship podcasts that I've ever watched where I reflected and I had to go, I don't know if I can have that same conversation with my <sighs> wife, wow. like in a beautiful way where I'm like, mad respect to y'all that you're able to have this transparent sort of like healthy conversation in a public manner because most of the time if that came up with my wife I'd be like shut up leave me alone <laughs> what like are you talking every, about yeah, she never that. even seen him with his shirt off <laughs> Yeah, Everyone no. says that, and it's always like a little bit like, man, that shit is cr like, uh, I'm so surprised that y'all are still going strong. Like, yeah. it's respect, yeah. but it's also like, <laughs> listen, people used to have, people used to think that we was going to get a divorce. Like, it was literally a lottery going on. How long it's going to take until they get divorced? And we will we still, still do yeah. the podcast. Yeah, if we got divorced. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. That's it, it, what. As a matter that's, of fact, I fuck with that. <laughs> we we thought about getting a divorce just to make the podcast bigger. Honestly, Whoa. Yeah, come, like, on, come, like, on. come on, come on. Who does that? We we here for the craft. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's it. Content, content. <laughs> I love the idea of breaking up a happy home, yeah. ruining children's lives. Kids just and all, to, fuck them. Yeah, just to add another year of content. Into I'm this. telling you. <laughs> then we get back together. What? Come on, that's Come a TV on. That, show. That's beautiful. That's a I'm beautiful. Ready. Yeah, I'll watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a love and hip hop shy's hole in my heart. I need to fill it. That's yeah. fair. I get that. I get that. That's fair. You guys, Thanks. you guys land where little Scrappy left. You, you I was already gone. I was already gone. Don't do that to me. I was already gone for the Scrappy era. I was there for Jim Jones and Chrissy. Oh, first uh, season. First, yeah, first that's two, was three kind seasons. of my heart. Yeah. Did and they then, ever get married? I don't think so. They had Damn. a reality TV sh series where they were gonna. I also liked. <laughs> Who was old girl who Fabulous never showed up? Like she would set traps for Fabulous to come. Oh, it's, and then uh, he would just Emily. Emily, she's from here. Yeah. Emily, she is. Yeah, she's she from is. VA. Oh, yeah, really? Shit. Yeah, yeah. She would we always don't ever be like, see I her, got but... <laughs> no, neither does Fabulous. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time she was like, I set up a photo shoot for our son, and Fab just didn't answer no calls. Yeah. Oh man, imagine you set up a photo shoot for the man that you love. <laughs> And then hours later, he posts videos of him fully dressed doing workout <laughs> tapes with Jim Jones in a yeah. in a in a Yonkers gym. In, yeah. in some, <laughs> not even like they don't even be in like Midtown. They be in fucking <laughs> sad as ass far as boroughs of New York. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Calm down. That's close to the Bronx. You know, that's close to my heart. Okay, also, excuse me. Watch my mouth. You have to get strong <laughs> in a strong place, Flankston. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how it works. This nigga be wearing motorcycle jackets doing sit ups. <laughs> that's where you get tough <laughs> with another man instead of loving his family. What yeah, a motorcycle guy. jacket is like a sauna suit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that, that helps okay. With, yeah. <laughs> so, so I hate how New Yorkers defend each other. Y'all be. <laughs> It's like an instinct for y'all. We're like, oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it's not a jersey dress if it don't squeeze in at the bottom. It's just a big jersey. <laughs> but second of all, I do think, if I'm being completely honest, there is a jealousy of sort of like the the New York uh, bravado that mm -hmm. I, I'll never be able to fully overcome. Yeah, I think I every think. black person uh, lives under that. No, yeah. not me. I'm from Virginia. Really? Through and through. It's just... That's pretty... That's a pretty good one, too. Yeah. It's just like skateboards and shit out here. That's just... And she doesn't whoa. have skateboards, so that, that means nothing. So yeah. you're like, I... Not, nothing... I aspire to nothing as far as the, the no, New York I, aesthetic is concerned. No, I feel great being just regular and country with like a beach it feels fine like that is the whole, amazing we got a beach the pharrell is that do you we come on you. let's relax let's, yo everything right. should be called a beach yo come on man there's a couple rocks up there yeah i mean it's, yeah, it's, it's, a call, it's called rockaway beach that's a <laughs> that's an indicator it's in the name yeah, I, I wouldn't call a, a pile of uh, Poland spring bottles a beach. 
<laughs> also, one of the worst varieties of water. One of the worst. Yeah. Like, oh, Poland Spring is terrible. That's, Poland Spring is the worst. Yeah, can't even give good. you something good like Smart or nothing. Yeah, okay. it's not good. I don't think they have the electrolytes in it or whatever. No. <laughs> None of that added. No. None of that. <laughs> we we can't keep uh, talking about bottles forever because we have a conspiracy theory. Y'all came with a conspiracy theory. I'm very excited to get into. You said, my mama told me. If you wear red nail polish, that means you're a floozy. Yes. Um, and I Look use... at your neighbor and say he's a meat stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> He'll stretch your meat. Hey, Hallelujah. You're back, baby. You did that. That was great. <laughs> That's a new one. That's a yeah, new one. I like it. <laughs> really good. I've been sitting on it for a special occasion. <laughs> we, I think we used the term floozy, like, intentionally. It was literally mm. a floozy. There was a girl that I remember specifically lived across the street from my grandparents. It was a white girl, and she used to wear red nail polish, and they would always be like, hey, you can't really play with her. And I yeah. didn't understand why. Yeah. Like, this was a real-life thing. So I was scared to wear it. I felt like I wasn't old enough until I was, like, 17 or 18. Like, it lived mm. with me for a while. How I didn't understand it. How old was she? She was she like started? a year younger than me. So we had to be like 10. She was wearing nail polish at 10? Yeah, you can wear nail polish at 10, but you just can't wear like red. Like Jessica Rabbit was very Ooh. much a hoe. Like a, it was <laughs> it, it was deep Boy. rooted. So I why will not? say she's, a 10-year-old a... in red nail polish does somehow ring different than a 10-year-old in like... A little bit. Turquoise. Yeah, like <laughs> even like pink or something that yeah. like, seems childish. It something... felt harsh. Like it was too sexy. And How long did hands. you know her? <laughs> I don't... Did you know her when she was an adult? Oh, uh, I think she's... Mm. Is she a hoe now? Is what I Yeah, that was where I was, she, I was trying to She get got that. into some things that I don't know if the red polish was the cause of, but it could have been influenced <laughs> by. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that is, it is a sort of nature versus nurture question with this yeah. red, red nail right. polish. Was yeah. she always a hoe or did the red, red nail polish find its its way into her, her whole system? Mm. Yeah, it's like, what came first, the choo-choo or the train? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I and I didn't wear again. I didn't wear it until I was like seventeen, eighteen. But like, that's shortly, when you became shortly after. I did get pregnant and have a baby. Wow. <laughs> shortly wow. after. Short, not well. I mean, well, twenty twenty, I got pregnant. So, so couple years in the nail polish. That's yeah, I was wearing good. it for yeah. a while after that because I was free. So, okay, and, yeah. And let me ask you this: When you first put on the red nail polish, yeah, did you do it with confidence or did you do it being like, "Fuck, I'm a hoe now." I mean, she I, bought it, so it was like yeah, was but like to... you know, you went with this, you had this moral gauge that you were living under for such a long time. At one point, does that shift? Does it happen through the process of the nails, or is it like pre nails that you're like, I'm liberated, therefore nails? I'm not gonna lie, like I was living with my parents at 18, and I remember buying it and like hiding it a little bit because I was scared for them to see it. Like it was, I knew I was an adult, but it was inside me that this might be wrong and they might say yeah. something to me. Mm -hmm. wow. Like it was like deep rooted trauma. Wow. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. so, You're living in sin and you ain't know, <laughs> you know I what to know. do. But it was exciting. It was fun. It was, yeah. it was like, yeah. yeah. After that was sex. It was cool. <laughs> <laughs> From nail polish to sex is a wild jump. Like, hey, Unspoken gateway say, drugs. I, 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 was still, I was there was some article of clothing that I could have just donned and got sex. Right. <laughs> because believe me, I tried many things. Did you try a Woo Wear shirt with all the beads? Because that's the one that I got had a, me. I had a Woo Wear lanyard. I had it doubled up. <laughs> Hanging out my pocket because I got keys. I had a headband and a do rag. There were lots of things Bro. that I was throwing out, not working. This is, you, you, the, at one point, I was wearing. Uh, I had glasses as a kid, and I was wearing my Rex specs on the top of my head because of those puffy, nice, puffy goggles. Yeah, from, oh. <laughs> from oh. my money mo. I yeah. was like, man, fuck it, I'm gonna put my Rex specs up there, <laughs> and that's gonna be my look. <laughs> and and all in all in hopes of getting pussy. Oh, yeah. and you have just, a shiny suit with it though. Yeah, no, 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 no. Regular oh. ass fucking hoop shorts <laughs> and Rex specs. 
truly looked like a, a goddamn idiot. But <laughs> but man, was that in my head? This yeah. is gonna get this is gonna be the difference maker right here. This I had a, done. I had a Fubu shirt my mom had bought from the African store that I wore trying to, which is like in the hindsight, you're like, oh, this is why you need a dad around. Bro. Because <laughs> We were at the African store, and you know how they put it in the plastic, even though it's still clearly fake? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I yeah. was like, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, at that point, you we'll get... knew that it might not be, like, you weren't, like, excited? You knew already? I knew that it was fake, but I knew that this was my only chance to get a food. <laughs> it wasn't, there was not other. The choices you got to make. We were, it was like, it was like, she's all happy because we're already in the African store. She got some fufu. Fuck. She got some Vimto. Maybe I can, can massage her in to get me this fubu. Bro, I'm not going to lie. This is it the was first bad. time. This is the first time in my life I've ever heard someone articulate what we were making fun of them for so clearly. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I never, it never even crossed my mind that why we're making fun of you is because you were so desperate <laughs> that you needed the fake thing just to uh, be alive, just this to is- be included in, in existence as a boy. You know what sucks about this is it feels like I'm getting double bullied right now. <laughs> let me no, tell you, watch I, I'm your mouth. sympathizing. <laughs> I don't give. I don't give a shit. I'll bear hug you and jump down the stairs. I don't give a fuck. So it's like I, you were saying that the whole time, and now you're like accidentally solid, like you're solidifying it. Like that's exactly what but happened. That, but that's, that's what it so is. Sweet. Is you just are like you're like I can't even get there. I would just like to be in the wake of greatness. I just want to mm. be a part of the game. It's man. like being a groupie. You know what yeah. I mean? Where it's like, okay, I can't rap, but maybe I go to this Diddy party. You know what I mean? I could talk to Meek Mill. And yeah, I know. Like I know him. I'm not really going to fuck any of these famous people, but like I might bump into somebody at the bar and they'll, they'll chit chat. And whoa, that's crazy. That's what a fake FUBU shirt is bumping into Dragon at a Rough Rider party. Oh, you know it's not DMX, but you're just happy to be there. I would, <laughs> I would have lost my shit. I'm just going to let you know. He was, he is, was my favorite Rough Rider. What? Dragon fan. <laughs> he, yeah. I mean, he. there was a point, because I was also young, right? So it's like, mm-hmm. okay, he raps about dragons, easy access point. <laughs> I was like, he raps fast, my yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. I just knew he was from the Bronx, so I was excited. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. That was my thing. Damn. And, See, and they that's said New up. York shit. Well, y'all don't even like, you don't even like stuff, but you like it because it's New York. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same way he feels about Ice Spice. As soon as she came out, he was like, oh, she's amazing. I, she no, I, I knew it. I knew she was going to be hanging out with Taylor Swift. I knew her that trajectory. You could not crazy. have. Sir, come on. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you it. You saw that from, I, the, from Munch? Did you I know that? I don't know. He knew something was going to happen. If, if it was going to happen, if it didn't happen because of the algorithm, it was going to happen because of him. Yeah. He that's was amazing. Promote her. That's amazing. First of all, that's insane. And and <laughs> I fully respect that you have that superpower. And the fact that you're not like at the circus right now is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you should be Doing an exhibit, readings. my man. Because <laughs> our first introduction to Ice Spice, and I don't think enough people remember this, int- Ice Spice came out as a meme of people making fun of her being like we're from the bronx you we we play dirt in a love song like being like uh <laughs> we're from the bronx you did me dirty that but that's what we do mm-hmm. like as a as a homage to this boy who hurt her mm-hmm. and we were making fun of her for a year before munch came out Listen. A fucking year of memes being like this goofy bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> and then Munch, and we were like, she's, I think, the greatest artist of all time. <laughs> and then it's Jay Z, Ice Spice. Ice Spice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In that order. <laughs> oh, oh man. Okay, we we have to go to a break, but before we do, we should have at least some kind of conversation. Jay, where do you stand? as it relates to the red nail polish? Was this something you grew up understanding? Do you believe it now? Where are you at? You know, until she mentioned it, I didn't realize that all of the girls that I liked that were fast in the pants had red nail polish. Didn't realize it. Didn't realize it. And now that I look back, I'm like, wow, I should have gone harder 
to try to, you know, lose my virginity <laughs> at a younger age. Bro, yeah. it's like it one of those connected. little, it's yeah. one of those little signs you wish you had known. Yeah. 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 It, it, it was that. Yeah, the, the nail polish is real, you know. And then it was chipped sometimes. They let you know she liked to play dirty. You That's know? when you know oh. they're actually living yeah. what they what Yo. they. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it's if it's chipped, she's gonna take a dip. Yeah. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> That was a word. That, that was, was a word. word. If it's cracked, you can blow it back. Come on. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, I, know I can rule, play I, too. I know the rule goes in threes, but I couldn't come up with another one that was going to talk those. Those two were great. I'm sorry. <laughs> if it's crackly, you can see it back, Lee. Come on. Yeah. What, what are you doing? <laughs> if it's flaking off, her skin is so soft. <laughs> They were ashy though, so no, no. <laughs> but if it's, right. if it's ashy, okay. she'll let you smash you. Hey, hey. go on. <laughs> All right, I don't think we're getting any more off. We're gonna, nor should we. I think let's go ahead and retire that game for now. We're gonna take a break. We'll be, we're gonna come back with more J. Rod, more Kristen, and more. My mama told me. <laughs> yeah, black exploitation at its finest. Come on, come on. It's, it's sometimes it wasn't even exploitation; it was celebration. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> we're we're back. We're we're back with more J. Rob, more Chris, and then we're still talking about the possibility that red nail polish, in fact, makes you a floozy. Where where does floozy? And I want to jump into the research, but before we do, where does floozy fall in the scale of ho dum for you? Is this like a top flight, the nastiest lady in the neighborhood or more of just like a lady who lives? And I, I use lady more as a reference to, I think, where the the origins come from, not suggesting men can't be hoes too. Mm. I think it's more just that carefree woman that you know what she does and you know how she does it, but you don't judge her because that's just her. It just mm -hmm. feels like she just could participate at any moment, but also she could just go about her day. Like, it's just yeah. something that happens to her. That's what yeah. I think. I, don't I like know. that. I feel like Floozy feels almost empowered. Like, yeah. when I think of the idea of, like, a flapper, that's, yeah. like, what I think of a Floozy, right? Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah. she's still fun. It's not particularly trauma-based as much as it's just, like, Young, enjoying life. That's exactly. How I and I do think that that for me, that is the biggest issue with the way like the patriarchy built calling women hoes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where it's like, I really don't think we should have been shaming ladies who were loose. I think we were we were meant At to be all. shaming women who were dangerous. Like you're truly like hurting yourself and people around you. Yeah. But no fucking lady who's down to suck and fuck is a hero. Right. We should celebrate her. I've never looked down. Never no. looked down at any floozy. Or ho. Matter of <laughs> fact, I was a floozy myself. He so. was. He was. He you know. And God bless you too. It's, it's, it, <laughs> he threw it that red fitted on. on. We, yeah. Hey. hey. <laughs> Let it go to work. Come on. He threw out the beacon. <laughs> <laughs> I had a red I had a red fitted too during those times of uh Galvin. Come on. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, Can definitely. I tell you, as someone who wears a fitted regularly, red is a choice. Yeah. <laughs> you look at the closet and say, is this what I'm doing today? Yeah, this is yeah. my day. And yeah. when you have it on, you feel it on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a superhero costume. Yo, come on. Whoa. Nobody thinks you like the Cincinnati Reds. What? They know you're trying to fuck out here. <laughs> Damn. I never thought about that. I always thought, because you're a fitted dude, I always mm. thought fitteds were just like, nah, I'll put on whatever. It don't matter. No, not at all. Damn. Because this is my day to day. Mm -hmm. I wear socks to like the doctor. It's, it's monochromatic. It's very easy. Yeah. But like red? Red? We're going to Papa Do's. We went to Papa Do's last <laughs> night. I almost put the red on. I was this close. And then I was like, no, it's Monday. You got to chill. And I wore, <laughs> a, I wore a, a purple and maroon Diamondbacks. She's saying you at your best. You ain't got to show yeah, off. Yeah, I don't. Day. And not at Papa Do's. I'm not trying to get robbed. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. But if you guys don't remember, Papados is still hitting. It's still so good. I was gonna go there. That, that I forgot what city was in. Yeah. It's so. It's still so good. They got. I. I saw two ladies in furs last night. Whoa. Yeah. April first. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. They got one in the airport. I think. I wonder if they still Ooh. get down like that they, too. Oh, they got one in the in the Houston airport. I yeah. believe. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I, Charlotte Airport too. I feel like. I Am I sure? That, that makes sense. It yeah. might actually, that, that feels actually right. might be right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I love I love a Papa Do's. <laughs> Uh, Papa Do's aside, I did do some research uh, that that I'd love to unpack with you all. I began by asking for the dictionary definition of floozy, mm-hmm. and it says is a young woman who has many casual sexual partners or who dresses or behaves in a sexually provocative way. Mm-hmm. So, so you don't even have to be out here fucking by definition to earn floozy as a title. You just need to sort of be suggesting sex mm. a lot. I sort of don't like that. Yeah, because how do you... I don't right? understand suggesting yeah, sex. I just... Uh, well, you know, people yeah. said I suggested sex in high school. You honestly. probably asked for it. I was a super virgin, <laughs> like had never touched, smell, anything like that. Wow. And everybody thought that I was a hoe. And I was like, no, no, I'm not a hoe. I, I just, you know... I want to be, yeah. You know I mean, it was, <laughs> it was like that, but yeah, I, I can see that being suggested. I like, do want to say I don't think anything's wrong with the term "ho." I do want to put it out there, but it was yeah, just, you know, the word that was used. No, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I think we we're all big supporters of, of yeah. "ho," huge, in, both oh, yeah. in definition and in real life. Huge yeah. fans. Some of uh, the cornerstones of the building I built to be the man I am today. Yeah, set by shaped hose. by hose. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely, definitely. <laughs> Respect. If, Respect. If you'd like, we can do a moment of silence for the hose that were lost. I, I, I truly. Uh, Are they lost if they respect. live forever in your heart? <laughs> no, I think they. <laughs> I think they get lost when they get married. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 No, I think that spirit is still always there. Yeah. <laughs> no, they got me through some tough times. Hey, wait a minute. I saw that look. Yeah. Oh, no. It's always there. I, I don't like the way she said that, you know. <laughs> it's more a feeling. It's not a, you know, it's a feeling. Is it? Right. Yeah. It's, okay. Uh, okay. I do think Hoenn is a mindset. If we yeah. can talk about that. Yeah. I do think it is a mindset of, yeah. I feel like hoes are generally more forgiving of people than most people are. Yes. Like they're more willing to meet you where you're at. They're mm-hmm. more accepting of people's flaws and the mm-hmm. idea that you're just a person. I feel like yeah. hoes definitely align, which to me, it's like hoes are a lot more Jesus like than most of you people out here. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus hung with hoes. Come on. It's like, a, I think it's a form of altruism. I think yeah. that because um, they're so used to getting judged for just living their truth. Mm-hmm. That they can understand what uh, when other people are going through things, which mm-hmm. I completely respect. Like that's yeah. real life; it has nothing to do with anybody else. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and just willing to live on their own terms. Because yeah. to be willing to be like when you meet a woman who's a hoe and like proud of it and owning it, mm-hmm. to live like that out, to be outside like that to a level, I think is speaks to like a bravery. Yeah, yeah. You. like yeah. A, like a like a willingness to be yourself. Yeah. Despite what the outside world says. Exactly. No, it, it it's a it's a beautiful way of living and we should appreciate them more. We really gotta do it. This this is turned into a nice hoe episode. And I yeah. seriously <laughs> that's why we have a whole podcast. If you're a hoe, <laughs> send us an email to my mama told me pod <laughs> and gmail.com. <laughs> Probably send some pics and you know, ooh, no, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> Uh, one of the things that I also looked up was whether or not, or rather where nail polish comes from. Like, when was it invented? And our contemporary formula for nail polish, which, you know, has all these polymers and shit, was -hmm. invented by a dude named Northam Warren, a man ironically, made nail polish all the way back in 1916. In 1911, he was basically making something to, like, I guess, remove your cuticles uh, called cutex, which I guess is acid, some kind of fucking acid. To you remove just your cuticles? Burn your fucking cuticles off with this cortex shit. But he, he invented that and then stayed in the nail game and then somehow found himself into making nail polish. But it originally started as like a clear lacquer rather than like a colored thing. Eventually, they started fucking around and adding more colors later. Uh, That's this, what I was going to ask what his first <clears throat> color was. But right. if it was clear, then OK. 
Yeah, cut, okay. he went clear, uh, and now I think so. It was for the fellas other, first. It was for yeah, it was for the boys. It was, <laughs> oh. well, I don't think it was. That. I don't think it was for the boys, but I, I, know I some, do. Think, I know some dudes who get clear coats now. Yeah, I I don't think that it was for the boys. I think it was probably for women, but I bet it wasn't as gendered as it became once mm-hmm. right. colors got involved. Right. My old my first pastor used to get his clear. It's, I, it's, it's fairly cool. common. Oh. It's fairly yeah. common. Yeah. And it, and this was an all black church. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was he was black. You thought a white pastor would was getting manicured? No, but it, I would have thought maybe it was like one of those mixed race congregations where he could get away with it easier. You know what I mean? Like it yeah. feels no, like I don't know all black mean. people. Them niggas gonna roast. Somebody's gonna start talking shit. Yeah, you don't know a lot. I I I know. I can think of three black men off top who I know get manicures on the regular. It's yeah, pretty but, common. But bro, mm-hmm. it's 2024. I'm. What are we talking about? 1990? Where, this was in the 90s, yeah. This was, yeah, this that's was a very different bravery. Yeah. I think it was, I feel like it was still fly. I don't know, and man. And nobody uh, brought it up. I think I just remember seeing it. And I was like, so that's I hit different. The light. Yeah. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. Like, no one said anything about it. It was just me. I was, was like, his hands always moisturized? I was so like nine. I don't know. He was never ashy. It was incredible. It was yeah. beautiful. I yeah. loved it. No, you got to be fly to serve the Lord. No, <laughs> <laughs> and, and to make money, serve the yeah. Lord and make money. You there we go. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. There's that hand missing hand. piece. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hands in hand. So, so this dude creates what we understand to be contemporary nail polish, but nail painted nails goes all the way back to 3000 BC in China, around 600 BC, apparently. Uh, so 3,000 to 600, motherfuckers are just painting their nails. Really? But then the Zhou dynasty, Zhou dynasty, their royal house preferred the colors of gold and silver. It becomes sort of popularized in like fucking kings and emperors and shit start to wear it. Is this prefer- men and women or just women at this point? It seems like it's everybody. Okay. It seems like everybody's painting their nails and then red and black eventually replace those metallic colors for royal families. That's kind of fly. I just feel yeah. like if people knew more of that history, they wouldn't be so uh, hard on all the guys that are doing it now. Yeah. yeah. Even crazier to that point, the Egyptians used to fuck with nail polish super heavy. I knew it. Well, they had makeup know. too, though, right? They they did a They were whole, big on makeup. Yeah. They, I could they see that. nail polish. They started drag, actually. They, they yeah. drag brunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's an Egyptian creation. I didn't even laugh because I believed it. I was like, that sounds about right. Yeah, it feels <laughs> That sounds right. Pharaoh's just watching a drag queen like, you know what? You ain't got to be a slave today. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good performance. Right. He looks like royalty. You know what? Hey, take the down. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I, uh... no, that makes so much sense, though. Yeah, it feels so right. Yeah. Yeah. My question is, because to all this, m- my idea on this conspiracy theory was I used to mess with a girl who used red lipstick. Mm. And she had told me that it's like uh, something about the color red means that you're flushed and like ready for sex. So like, I wonder if this is color based. Mm. Like uh, the idea of the color red, something about it is like blood releasing or coming to or some some shit like that. I've only so, done it because I heard it makes your teeth look whiter when I was like oh yeah. that makes Whoa. sense too yeah, absolutely. that makes sense too yeah I didn't yeah. I never thought about that that's yeah. great either that mm-hmm. of course though mm-hmm I'm glad you asked this question about whether or not it's it is biological because there are some scientists who do argue exactly that. Mm-hmm. They ultimately believe that uh, like the the there's something called the romantic red hypothesis that basically argues that there's this uh, phenomenon in nature where things become flush in order to attract other things. And humans are not better than other animals. We sort of have the same instinct. They point to, and this is nasty, but they point to uh, baboon, baboons and, they, and, they, yeah. and how their yeah. ass swells up and turns red to let a, a male baboon know that they're fertile. I thought it was just always red. So they just be horny all the time. That's crazy. I think, I think, it, I think it's a horny yeah. animal. <laughs> well, that's kind of, that's kind of uh, you know, a little private. You just always taking pictures of me when I'm like lit up. Yeah. No, they're, they're, they're really open about porn and stuff like that in the <laughs> yeah, So 
Ain't no <laughs> slut shaming in the in the baboon community. <laughs> they call it the baboonity. <laughs> baboon in it. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah, we have fun over here you're a funny guy like, <laughs> funny guy man I'm just laughing at these two incredible laughs on one mic this is <laughs> insane it's really a problem we got a ISO or something and we just we just make noise at each other for 50 minutes at a time <laughs> but wait so so blood rushing to a place is what's sexy. Right. And so part of what they're suggesting. I mean, that's is what that, an erection is, right? Yeah. That makes mm-hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And so they suggest that the red sort of like stimulates that part of our biological brain, thus the red lipstick, thus yeah. the that blush, sense, though. Thus, thus the red nail polish. And even like part of the study, they like sort of like test dudes on how attracted they are to various women in pictures. And red bones won. Red, no. <laughs> I'm staying out of this. <laughs> this is Lexi's always trying to sneaky stick up for his people. You gotta, you gotta watch him. Hey, he's like actually name, name somebody better than Janae Aiko. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. Luke Peter Nyong'o. <laughs> you yeah. try, bitch. <laughs> you know you're wrong, and I know you're wrong. Yeah, I, I gotta say, my wife, my, my wife is bad. Right, I'm not, my wife. Uh, hang, hang up on, on these niggas. Now it's weird. Hang up on these niggas if they're not gonna tell the truth. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't bring us up here to lie now. <laughs> they doing research. Like, hello. <laughs> God. We knew you were a good man. Don't be a goddamn liar. <laughs> <laughs> but but part of what they say is that in this study, the dudes look at pictures and women who are wearing red clothes and or standing in front of a red background Damn. almost consistently performed better than all the women that were just sort of in different colors. And similarly, they replicated the study for men mm-hmm. later and women had the same reaction. I get and like it. something biological with red makes us horned up a little the bit. The first time I was ever called cute, I was wearing red. I that's love that you remember that. That's he, I love he, still that. Has, remember he still that. has that jacket. I don't think that's, you understand. Yo, <laughs> that wasn't the first time, but it's not my red jacket, though. It was ox blood. What? Yeah. Oh. Killing them. I didn't even know that Killing was a them. real color. Yes. Ox that's blood. a good color. Ox blood. I That's think it's color. only for men, to be honest. I don't think women, <laughs> yeah. I don't think they make it in women's that clothing. No, no, no. no. <laughs> they, they ain't got it at Forever 21, baby. There's no, there's no ox blood on sheen. <laughs> oh, Olivia just jumped in. Producer Olivia said her quote unquote, I don't know why it's in quotes, her hookup dress in college was red. Wow. Mm. That makes a lot of sense. Did she hook up a lot when she wore it? Or uh, let's yeah. see. That's a great question. She yes. said yes. She said, I was yes. about to say, or did she go out with the energy like I'm going to hook up in this? No, dress. she said yes, and she said yes faster than she's ever typed. <laughs> it was so quick. <laughs> Usually there's a delay from the system, but <laughs> Man. This is great science because yeah. it's now yeah. it's starting to make me think about decor and I'm thinking about brunch spots that have grass walls and maybe they should change them to red because change that to red. women love a grass wall. But if but you are you it trying to, to red, do you feel like are you trying to fuck after brunch? I feel like you fucked before brunch. Um, A lot of the times we dress like we are going to brunch to fuck. So oh, that's fair. it <laughs> could be Reasonable. that, you know, Reasonable. I think it would be interesting. Yeah. No, I, even I, I also found it really fascinating because I wanted to find out where did the hoe kick in, right? Mm-hmm. That like in history, mm-hmm. when did we start doing, calling this hoe shit? And oh, apparently shit. we yeah. kept nail polish all the way through. It's like in Egyptian texts. And it isn't until the Victorian era English white people, 1920s to 1914, that it becomes improper to paint your nails. Why did they hate fucking so much? What is it about that cold ass island that makes them just hate being polite and hate fucking? They really be ruining shit. They don't like that shit. They just don't like it. Yeah. 
just across the board, they really just find ways of, to ruin things. Just a bunch of rude virgins. <laughs> <laughs> Whole fucking island, man. And you know what? Your food is trash. I said it. It's not good. <laughs> Beans aren't for breakfast. Grow up. Not at all. Not at all. We just had this debate. We just talked about this. I understand. <laughs> no, you guys, you guys are on the... <laughs> And I don't even, I hate the fact that we had to talk about it. I don't know. Why. Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> devastated to hear that that's a, a conversation you had to have with each other. <laughs> we married, we ran Go back out of to talking to talk about, about your body count. Don't talk about <laughs> beans for breakfast. Yeah, bring up that axe blood jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Set the mood. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking dumb. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it, it's English people that sort of become the ones that that hate on it. And I wonder, this is where my conspiratorial brain went, is that I wonder if part of it is that they're all inbred and the lacquers being on their fucking fingers was going to make like the nails fully come off. Like you can't do oh. certain oh. physical Oh, because their things. bodies are falling apart? Yeah, they're oh. like melting and shit. Damn, this is might be the most racist thing we've said on here. Well, <laughs> and I'm here. I'm here with you. I'm with you. I'm not shying away. I'm standing tall in the face of this. That's a wild thing you just said. I meant the leadership, not the the <laughs> island as a whole. Oh, oh maybe okay. I, maybe I needed okay. to clarify okay, that. Okay, you're right. You're I right. don't think that all English people are in <laughs> No, no, stand on it. Just, just <laughs> the <laughs> ones you guys like the most. <laughs> How did all of this trouble begin? <laughs> Living in America. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Just the ones y'all worship, they're in, they're in brain. <laughs> oh, man. And you worship yeah. them because they feel different. They just feel yeah. above yeah. everything. You know, I've never seen that before. Or, you, you know. You, you've you never seen the glow of somebody who fucked their, their second cousin. <laughs> yes. I'm not used to it. <laughs> I think I have. Yeah, you probably oh. have. Yeah, <laughs> just like, <laughs> it's like, is that SPF or cousin blood? Of all the people, I I I, I just met a lot of weird people, man. Somebody I was about to say, if there's anybody I know who knows somebody like relax. that, it's you. Relax. <laughs> 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 There also are scientists who argue that it isn't as biological as we think, but that it, the red is more just a thing that we've been conditioned mm -hmm. to associate with sex, a la the Victorian sort of influence, right? That these Judeo-Christian values get placed on us, and then we subsequently sort of like bury that into our brains that casual yeah. sex and red are bad. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think the color, I think even on a biological level, though, right? The color red does denote a sense of urgency that yeah. I would like into that feeling. Like, you know, when you're so horny that you're just like, it's like, that's how red makes me. It is how red makes me feel to the point where like, like, have you ever like being in a red room will stress me out? You know what I mean? Uh... Like the color, I find the color red. It is very aggressive in a way. So, I mean, I, I don't know. To me, it, it, I'm with the biology of it. I, th I think that color does evoke those kind of feelings, just in the same way that green relaxes me. You know what I mean? Just yeah. like traffic lights. Like all of that, like you feel like you have to stop. Like you have yeah. to stop. Things going to happen if you are danger signs or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah you, you very might, aggressive. You, you might get like a ticket or... Yeah. You you always scared. Nah, <laughs> damn, damn. You stay scared. <laughs> stay scared so you don't have to get scared. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I've never related to you more than just now. I I got someone else who would say something like that. <laughs> oh. Are they looking at you right now? I feel like no. That's she wasn't work. <laughs> she wasn't work. Thank God. Oh. She's standing. She's yeah. standing back there like this. She got. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't like her in here when I'm doing this. She, she wagging your keys in front of you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, yeah, it, I. I would say that based off of everything I read, it does seem like at the very least a nasty little combination of both. 
Mm-hmm. That it's like both our biological instinct and associations with red mixed with like this weird sociology that got put in by the British being like, no, red means ho, that's bad. Mm-hmm. And now suddenly we we have like both a weird horniness for it and a shame about that horniness that didn't exist before. Those two, th- those two feelings go hand in hand anyway. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. All of that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But the floozy doesn't feel that, though. No, no, she feels liberated. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. I would hope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that she feels a freedom within it, and that's yeah. why because she it becomes wears a decision. the red. Yeah. That's why Olivia wears the yeah. red, like thing. Olivia <laughs> on Thirsty Thursday at the Michigan <laughs> campus. <laughs> 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 Just clip clopping up the street. <laughs> Belly next, po- to, <laughs> next to vomit and big tin burritos. <laughs> Here comes Olivia. She in got a red dress. She got a gleam in her eye and a belly full of sex on the beach. <laughs> I don't even know what sex on the beach tastes like, to be honest. I've never ordered it. It's pretty like college. Really? (laughs) (laughs) See, I ain't go to college. That makes sense. Me neither. I just that's what I think. (laughs) It tastes like something you ain't supposed to drink past 22, but yeah, Mm -hmm. man, it's good. It tastes fucking great. My sister doesn't really drink, and when I take her out, she'll get a sex on the beach. I'll be like, that's how. Yeah. That's how I know you're not even supposed to be in here, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do? not make that anymore. Yeah, what should yeah. we do? Shots of lemon drops yeah, after this, you weirdo? What the fuck are you talking oh. Sex on the beach? <laughs> We're at a bowling alley. Just fucking <laughs> calm down. <laughs> uh. <laughs> fucking Long Island iced tea. What are you talking about? <laughs> all the colors they all go in okay <laughs> okay that being said Fine. my girl got a cocktail at uh papa Do's last night and it did have all the colors <laughs> <laughs> and it looked it looked amazing also can i say the way this is just a pop we're sponsored by papa Do's now the way yeah, they spell mango say. the way they spell mango on the thing mm-hmm. m-a-n-g-e-a-u-x yeah Mm. Yeah, they, they try to make you. Is it what is that? It's like, French, French, it's, French. It's, Creole, I, it's like, for black people. Is what yeah, it is. yeah. I say, Papa knows. <laughs> I think the French would disagree that <laughs> that's theirs. <laughs> that that's theirs. They never seen a mango one time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even like, think about how deep that was. They've never seen a mango. <laughs> there's no mangoes in Paris. <laughs> there's no mangoes, and if they had them, they're not spelling them like that. You know what I mean? Like that. They're like that's not how we would. Just, <laughs> That's not how we'd approach the word. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. That's not even. I like Louisiana French better than France French, anyways. Yeah, yeah. What's the difference? I agree. Creole, Creole. Uh, the way they spell mango is the primary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the leading. There's the primary. <laughs> A lot of cream based stews, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think we did it. I think. I think we. <laughs> If I were to venture to guess, I think we nailed this perfectly. Somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I I think we we seem to all be in agreement that yeah. that this is an unfair sort of thing to put on on women specifically, but anybody. Wear your red and and get horned up and don't be ashamed of it. Hey. Yeah, yeah, wow. you should feel good I like about that. It. That was a perfect sum up of that. Like, yeah, that makes so much sense. Get horned up. Yeah, there maybe should be an age limit just in case, though. I would say. Oh yeah, my daughter still can't wear red. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Feels like maybe we gotta gotta have a. Not even like a red line. Nah, I'm good. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I agree. (laughs) I also agree. He he knew how he felt in that ox blood. He's not saying. (laughs) 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 He's just sitting there like this is too much power. <laughs> I think it should be I think it should be the same age for voting, red nails and driving a car. We put it all <laughs> Oh man. Smoking cigarettes. <laughs> oh. Chris and Jay, can you tell the people where they can find you on what cool shit you have going on? Yeah, go ahead. That's always me. I'm gonna let you okay, do it. cool. Let you do it. Um, the podcast is, and then we, it used to be, and then we had sex, but whatever. Hey. Podcast, we're on social media, on everything. It's, and then we pod on TikTok. Even us about to go 
and Instagram and Facebook and all of that shit. And I guess I'll go through these the cities. Yeah. Do I want to do that? I'm sorry, yeah, guys. Do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the whole point of this. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. We are on tour. We have a couple of dates out right now. Um, May 10th and 11th will be in Charlotte at the Comedy Zone. May 19th, Tampa, Funny Bone. May 31st, St. Louis City Winery. June 8th, Chicago City Winery. June 9th, Cleveland Funny Bone. June 21st, Pittsburgh City Winery. June 23rd, Detroit House of Comedy. And I can stop there. Yeah. 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 We have more, but yeah, they're all no, on you our... Can do all the, oh, you could do all of them. Oh, oh fuck yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. July, yeah. Uh, <laughs> July 5th will be at uh, New York City Winery. July 21st, Miami Improv. July 26th, Boston City Winery. August 17th, Atlanta City Winery. And we have more dates that are coming out. Houston, all that good stuff will be out later. But yeah. I'm super excited. So yeah, I'm, I'm just yeah. glad to do that. I'm excited about this podcast. I think I've like written comments in y'all like comments and was like, man, I can't wait till I can do this podcast. Like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm excited that y'all let us come and, yeah. and do hey, this. Now you broke the seal. You can come back whenever you want. Hey, don't tell great. me that. I got a lot of shit I believe that don't nobody else think is true. <laughs> 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 That's the best part about this thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think is that it. Yeah, I, 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 okay. I, I like y'all. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> we like. <laughs> That was so nice. I really appreciate it. I like you. And I got Oxblood queued up. I'm Googling this after this. <laughs> this nigga's about to be jacketed down. Yeah, you come come see us May 5th at the Netflix is a Jokes Festival. Yeah. I'm going to be Oxblooded down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, might, I might die my shit. No, I, don't, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Awesome. Thank y'all so much. No, thank you so much. Yeah. Bori, Bori, you want to tell the people where they can find you? Uh, cool guy jokes 87 on Instagram. <laughs> I got dates come. Oh, I'm going to be shooting a special soon. So Ooh, look out for dope. that. Hey. Shooting it in Denver, Colorado. I'm going to use my own money. So, you know, pay, pay to pay to come see it because I desperately need to recoup. Otherwise, I'll have to go back to selling emergency road service at the call center and you don't want to see me back at the old me you don't want to see yeah. me. it's not great that guy drinks all the bacardis mixed together uh, and then <laughs> <laughs> more importantly come see us live mm -hmm. netflix is a joke festival sunday cinco de mayo may 5th it's my birthday hey. uh, at the comedy store 7 p.m tickets are about half sold so you Gotta grab them or else it's gonna sell out. Yeah. Come see us live. It's gonna be a hell of a time. We're gonna have special guests. We're gonna have bullshit. Uh I'ma show up with my nunchucks. I'm a I'ma <laughs> stay committed to our promise. And well then I'm gonna sh show up with my harmonica. Yeah, and we'll we'll have some sort of uh show for you. It it'll all be great. And uh as always, you can follow me at Langston Kerman. I ain't got no dates coming up. I Good. shot that that shit and I'm resting for a Good. while. But Rest. no no dates to to be heard of, but you can follow me and, and the podcast will continue to be great in, until we get tired and give up. I didn't have to include that. <laughs> Probably uh, two years <laughs> after that, to be honest. We need the money. Yeah, no, we're going to stick with it until the money dries up. We're going to do like you guys. We're going to divorce and then get back together. <laughs> hey. That'll be fun. <laughs> you got to do several podcasts where you talk shit and then come back together and, and come back. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, that nigga Dave. I'm, 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 bro. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I just got mad at all the African comments. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and as always, if you want to send us your own drops, your own conspiracy theories, if you want to tell us what color, in fact, makes you a super hoe, send it all to mymamapod at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you. Uh, like, subscribe, do all the nonsense that they make you do in order for our algorithm to be served. We appreciate you. We love you. Bye, bitch. Why are you coming home? Five in the morning. Something's going.